Have you completed an ICS OT cybersecurity assessment recently and found gaps in your security program? Not sure where to start? Whether your organization is in sectors like power, chemical, automotive, or food and beverage, cyber threats go beyond data breaches. Attacks can cause physical damage, disruption to production, impacting safety, and halt operations. The SANS-5 ICS cybersecurity critical controls are built on real-world threat intelligence designed specifically for ICS, OT, not IT. They're the essential starting point for any organization operating within industrial environments to ensure safety and reliability. The five ICS cybersecurity critical controls are as follows. Number one. ICS specific incident response. Because traditional IT playbooks fail in ICS and cause safety impacts. Number two, ICS defensible control system network architecture. Secure networks equals resilience, safe engineering networks. Number three, ICS network visibility and monitoring. You can't protect what you can't see and it must be ICS aware. Number four, ICS Secure Remote Access. Unsecured remote access is a top targeted ICS vector. Number five, risk-based vulnerability management. Not all vulnerabilities are equal. We need to focus on the engineering and the operational impact. For organizations, these controls reduce business risk. They prevent downtime and enhance operational resilience. For ICS security practitioners and professionals, Mastering these controls builds critical skills to defend industrial control system environments effectively. Hands-on SANS ICS security training ensures your team is equipped to implement these controls in real-world environments. Follow along as I break down each control in this series. Control number one. ICS Specific Incident Response Plan. IT incident response plans don't work in ICS and OT. Worse, IT security measures can cause more damage than good in industrial control environments. ICS Specific Incident Response Plan requires engineering informed approaches to ensure safety and engineering asset recovery beyond just traditional operating systems. In industries like pharma, automotive manufacturing, or food processing, OT ransomware can halt production, cause massive financial loss, and create serious safety risks. ICS specific incident response plans ensures appropriate containment, engineering-led triage, and engineering-driven recovery to keep operations running safely. For practitioners, ICS incident response isn't just unplugging devices or deploying patches. It's about maintaining operations, quick engineering-led triage, and coordinating with engineering teams to fight through the attack, maintaining safety. I've seen firsthand how implementing an ICS-specific incident response plan can help organizations be better prepared against attacks. Did you know ICS networks were designed to be isolated? but they've been connected to IT and the internet. Many still operate with flat networks, legacy systems, and minimal segmentation, making them vulnerable to attacks like OT ransomware. For example, nearly half of ICS OT incidents comes from external networks like the IT network, allowing threats into the industrial control environments. For organizations, control to a defensible architecture ensures strong network segmentation, asset identification, and industrial demilitarized zones, preventing cyber threats from spreading into industrial control environments. Whether you're securing the bulk electric system or industrial automation environments or chemical processing plants, this ICS OT cybersecurity critical control reduces business risk while maintaining safety. For practitioners, your role may be to design, secure, and maintain ICS OT architectures that support security and safety without disrupting engineering operations. This means applying layered defenses, monitoring internal control system communications, and responding to network lateral movement, ensuring system visibility without impacting production. 
Control number three, ICS network visibility and monitoring. You can protect what you can't see. Without ICS aware network visibility and monitoring, attacks like OT ransomware can go undetected until the impact safety, productivity, or reliability in engineering environments. For organizations, ICS OT network visibility and monitoring is a high return of investment control that enables early threat detection, engineering and asset inventorying, troubleshooting, incident response, and vulnerability management. With ICS-aware monitoring and trained ICS defenders, your organization will gain the visibility needed to stop threats early and ensure engineering reliability. For practitioners, ICS network visibility isn't just about network traffic, it's about understanding the ICS protocols, analyzing the engineering device behaviors, and detecting anomalous or abnormal activities before they become full-blown industrial control system incidents that impact the safety of people. Control four, secure remote access. Remote access is a top ICS OT attack vector. When unsecured, it gives adversaries direct access to industrial control system environments. For organizations that require remote access, it must be secure. Enforcing MFA, yes, even from the IT into the ICS and OT networks. Configured jump host in an ICS DMZ, site-to-site -site encryption, strong access controls, and monitoring capabilities are essential to protect external and internal teams and the control systems against threats. For practitioners, your role may be to secure every remote connection logging, monitoring, and controlling access to prevent unauthorized entry into an ICS and OT system and detect early stages of an attack. Control number five, risk-based vulnerability management. Not all vulnerabilities pose the same level of risk. Unlike IT where patching is routine, ICS vulnerabilities must be managed differently to manage the ICS specific risk and maintain system stability and safety. For organizations, embrace the fact that IT and ICS risk surfaces are very different. An ICS-informed risk-based approach ensures vulnerabilities are prioritized based on real operational impacts instead of IT patching processes. Security teams need to work with engineering staff to prioritize patch deployment when it's safe and non-disruptive to do so usually in a scheduled engineering maintenance window. For practitioners, you may be tasked with determining which vulnerabilities matter the most to engineering and ICS. ICS-specific threat intelligence can help here. Engineering-informed decision-making ensures security measures do not unintentionally disrupt or introduce instability in the control system. You can learn more about this approach in courses like ICS 410, ICS 515, and ICS 612. Take the next steps in securing ICS and OT environments with real-world practical SANS ICS security training.